What's up love? So it's your girl April and today's video is going to be like a flashback, old school, whatever you want to call it. Um, I actually did this wig video so long ago, back in 2009, I believe it was either late 2008 or 2009 when I just started doing YouTube on my very first channel. Um, this is when I was buying and purchasing all kind of half wigs from different websites. Um, it was all new to me, um, so I wanted to just venture out because I really didn't want to cut my hair. And one of them that I came into play with and came across with was the Model Model or Model Model Malibu Twist wig. So when I originally got her, she was in a number, a color number 1B. She was very dark, but this time around, I got a color number 2. She is available at sisterwigs.com for the low, low price. So, of course, Malibu Twist is a half wig. You can either rock her as a drawstring ponytail like the model is, or you can rock her as a half wig. Now, first of all, like I said, this was done on my old channel like years ago, and I was only rocking like half wigs then. So, I had my tricks and tips of the trade of how to blend these curly units to your own hair so that they look just like just so flawless and they look like they were your own hair you know when the first started out we first started out there were no lace front wigs and then when lace fronts did come out oh my god for those synthetic lace fronts they were like 80 bucks for one synthetic lace front wig this is when they were really popular they just started out so yeah so yes so this one like I said is a half wig and like I said, I have my own tips and tricks, and I did show you guys back then how I would blend these curly wigs. So if you guys know me from back in the day, then you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You can wear her as a ponytail, so there is a drawstring right here. My number one suggestion to you guys is, whenever you put this unit on, make sure this, this string is tucked behind, okay? You don't want it showing. It does come with the combs in the front. And what I would always do is I would always have a braid going across my head where these combs would rest. Because it also helps in helping your hair not break off. And there's also the combs in the back. So let's get into this unit. I'm about to show you guys how I would blend it. Hopefully my blending skills are still just as good. So yes, underneath here is the perm rods. These are what I would use. Um, for my wig tutorials, I would put them in overnight, and I have like a humongous bag of these things in my collection now from just over the years. And there you have it. Your hair will mimic these little curls perfectly. So we're gonna okay, my love, so it's time to get this half wig poppin' slash drawstring ponytail, which is Malibu Twist. Now, as I remember Malibu Twist when I first did her back in 2008 or 9. She was much longer. The curl pattern was a little bit different as I can recall. Um, she seemed a little bit longer and fuller. So I'm not really sure. Things do change over time. And the first one and the second one that I've ever had of Malibu Twist was really like just an easier wig. This was a lot different. Hopefully I still have it in my chest of synthetic wigs which I have in my garage. I'm going to check it out and see because I know I'm not going crazy. And even so, the model on the actual picture or stock card, her wig looks a little bit longer as well. But either way, let's just style this. So being that I went ahead and perm rod my hair, it did help it blend in. Now I am placing some bobby pins on the sides because there aren't any bobby pins on the side of this unit. And now I'm going to be using my strand maximizer, which is just a hair building fiber. It's very similar to Topic. And this just helps my thin edges or if you have balding spots. And I'm just going to play around with this wig because like I said, um, Malibu Twist is not the same as I remember her. I swear she was way longer. Not too much longer, but just a little bit longer. But being that she's a natural looking type of style, I'm just going to do something kind of like funky with her. Because it's so hot out right now and I'm pretty sure it's hot everywhere. So I want to do something different with her. So I'm just going to twist her on one side and see how she looks. And get some of my Edge Tamer, which is by Even New York. You can also get this on the website of sisterwigs.com as well. This is the best Edge Tamer hair glaze, what have you. Now as you see, my edges are a little thin right there. So I'm going to pump lightly on that uh, um, hair building fiber. And just you see as it's coming in a little bit darker. You want to go lightly in the front. You don't want to pump too hard because, of course, we're 
our hairs are not so thick in the beginning of our hairline. So this is one of the styles that I came up with and now I'm going to go into something a little bit different with this unit and just see what I can do with it before or after I take a selfie. <laughs> okay. So now that I'm just messing around with it, I'm like, okay, let's try to twist it on the opposite side. Which I'm going to do here is I'm just going to twist it on the opposite opposite side. This is a really inexpensive unit or wig, whatever you want to call it. It was $15.99 on sisterwigs.com. Relatively, really cheap. This wig has been out for some years, so it is a classic and oldie but goodie. I'm just going to take the front swoop of kind of like hair that I have going on and kind of like tuck it and pin it. Kind of like give myself a pompadour if that's what you want to call it, but a natural curly looking one. You really don't have to do a lot to it because it's already full and it will hold its style because it is full and thick. I'm just going to fluff it up and make it look a little bit neater. And I wasn't really crazy about the back because I liked it kind of off of my neck and just kind of like kind of hidden. So I'm just going to twist the back as you can see here and I'm going to basically pin it from underneath so that way it kind of looks like a roll so I have like this old school glamorous kind of look going on right about now and I kind of like it okay so here goes Malibu twist all twisted up first of all let me tell you guys Malibu twist is not the same as I remember she was much longer back in late 2008 much longer not long like here but she came to at least right here I just thoroughly remember this I have pictures of myself still rocking this wig and they did change it up on a sister they did change it up on a sister Either way, I worked somewhat of my magic. Um, when I actually wore Malibu Twist the first time, I wore her out. She was a little bit better. The, the construction of her was made totally different. Like I said, it was longer and it just looked a lot better. But because it looks like natural hair, I decided just to do kind of like a pompadour, pin-up type of natural hairstyle. Um, and it is always beneficial to perm rod your hair in the front so that way it just looks like it's all blended in so this is great for when it's super hot outside like it is right now but yes Malibu twist did change up a little bit but for all of you natural hair sisters who love like these curly half wigs then go for her she's short she's shorter but she's still cute but let me tell you something my neck will be able to breathe in this heat okay and it kind of gives me like that glamorous look you can see more of my actual face so I do like that a lot it just brings out more of your features when you have your hair pinned up you know they say like when you do ponytails and pinups you get like a facelift I'm not saying I need one but a, a girl is aging so you can check Malibu Twist out on sisterwigs.com make sure you check out their makeup website which is sister21.com I will post all of the information below and also for the coupon code for 10% off which is in all capital letters and it's just the word muffin no S just the word muffin the reason why I'm stressing this is because a lot of people are just a couple people rather have said the code does not work and it actually does work I made sure to ask prior to make sure that the code still works and it does so make sure that you're putting it in all capitals the word muffin and you will use it at the time of checkout to receive 10% off your order so other than that my girls I will see you on the next video make sure you rate comment subscribe and thumbs this video up if you enjoyed this video so also if you see I did my nails and you guys know I don't really do my nails that much. So I did use my nail polish, which is by Sinful Shine. And you can get this at Walmart. I got it from Walmart, but they have this everywhere. So I used the color in tan lines. And on top of that, I used King Kylie. And then step two is just a clear coat. So I'm so proud of myself that I did my nails. Yes, a girl has done her nails. So hopefully I'll keep that up. I just can't get fake nails, but I can do them. Um, but yeah, so see you guys on the next video. Stay diva and divalicious, and I'll check you guys out soon.
Okay, so I thought I would come back and show you guys how I'm going to wear this half wick as a ponytail. But I'm not going to wear it as a ponytail, a ponytail like they wear it. So it's actually on like a half wig. Um, I have all my hair out all over the, the wig, even in the back. You see, okay? And throughout the sides because I don't really like that drawstring ponytail look that they be having going on. So this is my way. So I'm going to take some bobby pins and of course you have to bobby pin the sides because there's no combs. And it doesn't have to be neat because the hair is already curly and I don't really want it too neat. And if you don't have a scrunchie then I suggest you take one of these from the weaving band and make them into a scrunchie. And that's it. So yeah, that was just something extra I wanted to throw in there. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.